Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday, I think. It's Thursday because it's trash day. Cheers. I'm actually shooting this video a little late and obviously um, I'm not my normal peppy self today, but that's kind of why I came out here to shoot this. Um, it's also kind of odd to see me in an actual shirt. This is one of the new shirts. It's really kind of, I don't want to say depressing. What's the word I'm looking for? It's a little bit of a bummer for me that my favorite, my favorite clothes that Raybot comes out with, <sighs> um, say CrossFit on it. Not that it's like a deal breaker, but people. Um, sorry. Uh, I just kind of feel, it, it feels a little bit funny in that I don't do CrossFit. And there are certain elitists out there who will be like, well, she landed CrossFit, she doesn't do CrossFit. <sighs> Which probably just makes me, I should just think of that every time I feel funny about putting something on and just go, really, I'm gonna wear it anyway. How do you feel about that? I do yoga <laughs> and I lift weights and I probably lift weights heavier than you, maybe not. But I don't do kipping pull-ups and I really don't have any desire to. But that's not to knock people that do it because y'all rock. But anyway, this is one of the uh, new shirts that if you were watching my Instagram and you were watching us when we were out in LA, this was one of the new shirts that Reebok passed on. So I have to tell you, it's uh, like this, some of my favorite tops that I have. There's another one. Um, it might not be Reebok Cross, but yeah, it is. It's a long sleeve top that zips up to the front, real fitted, has the, the fingers on it too. But I think that says CrossFit on it too. Anyway, I tend to like, their uh, apparel lines for CrossFit more than anything else. Um, I did like that yoga top though, with the stripes on it, remember? Anyway, I'm digressing. I told you guys I'm feeling a little um, <coughs> mellow. And I could make my point just by what I just saw in this text. I had texted my uh, massage girl and I said, do you have anything today or tonight? Because I'm, I'm really physically just needing it, but also mentally really needing one tonight. And she's like, no, but I have it tomorrow. And I'm all immediately going, <sighs> here's my thing. Um, I, yesterday was Wednesday, um, and we got, um, for, for business, I can't really share a lot of details, but we had a really last minute, very rush thing come in. Big, big implications in a big way. Um, so it required my urgent attention. I had to put everything I was working on <laughs> to the side for literally probably 36 to 48 hours, um, which that in and of itself is difficult because um, I'm already always behind. Um, fine, no big deal, but it was exhausting and there was a deadline and a, and a really looming deadline. It is not one of my strengths to have a deadline like that. It is not one of my strengths to um, have to sit down and channel everything that I have going on in my head. I always have the ideas and the concepts and the energy and the excitement, but when I have to sit down and take that and make it detail-oriented and put it in a, in a finite form, whether it's a report or a proposal or a presentation or any kind of document, um, I just plain suck at it. I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses. I'm really great at procrastinating. Um, I'm really great at, at, I think you guys know, you know again, I, I have the energy, I have the vision, I have the excitement, but if you say, okay, just can you put that down for me and write it in bullet points and make it organized, I will, first of all, put that off forever because I dread it. I dread it and I put it off to the last minute until I know I have to do it. And then I'm rushed and then I'm stressed. So. You know, these are all things that obviously the fact that I'm aware of it means that I can change it, maybe. There's certain things about ourselves that might just remain the way that they are. <sighs> anyway, I'm taking that point and I'm going somewhere with it. Um, so, in context, we had the situation come in, required my attention. Uh, I was up until... Literally, I worked on this project all day yesterday, all day. And I think one of the things I'm realizing that I hate the most right now with the stuff I have to do, 
I think when I move, I want to have a stand-up desk. I don't like sitting down at my desk for as long as I have to do. Just the actual sitting, maybe it's just the chair that I have in there, but it just, it, it, I, I keep wanting to get up and get out and, and do something. And I feel like, so I'm sitting here at my kitchen counter and this would be great if I had my, like my, um, my screen here and I was working like this, then I could walk around, I could, that's what I want. I, I definitely want that. That's not the be all end all, but it did come to me the other day that I don't like sitting in there. And not to mention, I don't really have a great view in this condo, but it's all temporary. So kind of sounding a little negative today, but I'm doing that to make a point. Um, not trying to be negative. I'm just in a little bit of a not happy mood right now but we're gonna change that. So I'm giving you context. So I was working on this project. I was working until one o'clock in the morning last night. And the thing is, is there was nobody else that could help me on this. I alone had to do this. This was my, my vision, my responsibility, me, what I had to do. And there was a deadline. There's a deadline that's not gonna go away. When you know that something has to be <laughs> given to somebody and it has to be there and you've already gotten your last extension, <laughs> because I procrastinate. I didn't know, it's not because I procrastinate. I was given no time to do this. So, I was uh, here working on it all day. Another thing you guys know is a problem of mine. Whenever I came, I've probably been back from my trip too long to use this as an excuse, I'm guessing. Um, so I had no groceries. And if you look in my refrigerator right now, actually, you will see that I have thawed uh, some ground turkey. I've thawed some um, fish and I didn't cook it. And I do this. This is why I need an assistant. I'm working on it. I, I, I even take stuff out of the freezer and I thaw it and I put it in the refrigerator and then it sits there for three days because what'll happen is I, I come out here and I'm like, oh, I don't have time to put all that tilapia on a pan and add my seasonings and turn the oven on. And then I don't want to cook my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts, my sweet potatoes, because it's going to make my house smell like ass. And I don't want my house to smell, so I'm not going to do it. And so then what do I do? I call Jimmy John's. Not because I want to eat junk food. Usually I get a, uh, an unwish. Although yesterday, considering the fact that I was so hungry, and considering that I knew I didn't have a lot of groceries or whatever, I think I got a, a what did I get? A ham sandwich, no cheese, extra veggies on it. Um, but I did get it on the bread. Um, so I had the sandwich and then I had sashimi for dinner and then at one o'clock in the morning my stomach was growling like a beast and I was so hungry and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I wanted nothing else because this is again my own fault but because I don't have groceries here I didn't have anything that I could be aside from another bowl of oatmeal I could have made myself a bowl of oatmeal but that has tended to be one of my things that you know, if it's odd and I really feel like I need something or my stomach's unsettled, I'll have a bowl of oatmeal. I'm getting a little sick of it. As good as it tastes, sorry, my wrist is bothering me. Um, so it was one o'clock in the morning and I was exhausted. My body was hurting and aching and I was so hungry and all I wanted was a fish sandwich from McDonald's and damn it, I went and I got it. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna lie to you, I got the combo meal. So here I was late at night. <laughs> and yes, I freaking had a Diet Coke. I don't even care. I had, and, and that was one o'clock in the morning, and then I took Excedrin and PM because I knew I was having some caffeine, and I had french fries, and you know what? The point of me sharing this with you is not about, oh, isn't this crazy, I have McDonald's. I don't care if I have McDonald's. That's not my point. I'm gonna have McDonald's again. It was just that it was late at night, you know, I hadn't done my yoga, and, and it was a work-related thing, but I thought it was funny that I get up today, A, my day kind of started, my day started being exhausted because I went to bed by like maybe 1.30 and still I woke up at 7.30. So I haven't gotten enough sleep. Um, so that was in the back of my head. Then I got some bad news, which was um, really just upsetting. I'll just, I'm gonna be very neutral about this. Very upsetting about certain people in my life um, that have been always a massive disappointment. Um, there's been a lot of massive disappointment in my life, but I choose to get past it. And that's kind of, these two points are going to overlap in a second. So I get up this morning, 
found out some bad news, was exhausted and tired and crabby and, you know, still thinking about how good that fish sandwich tasted. I cannot lie. I really love a McDonald's fish sandwich meal with a Diet Coke and a lot of french fries. And um, so I get up this morning, put my workout clothes on, I'm having this conversation, I'm pissed off about certain people really wanting to do immature negative things. But I talked myself out of it and decided to take my aggressions out on my workout. Which is good because it was raining outside, I couldn't go running. I thought it was not a good idea to go running. I don't know why I envisioned myself. If I were to run in the rain, that I would just be like, and I'd wipe out. I am not having an injury. So I went in and I did Les Mills Combat. And let me just tell you, the punching and kicking and grunting that was going on in my room back there was excessive today. And I just kept thinking, I like this is really cool because I'm just imagining the people I'm pissed off at right now. And I'm envisioning myself punching and beating the hell out of them. I have aggressive tendencies. Um, this is my um, coconut oil. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna do this. <sighs> anyway, the funny thing is, is that as I finished up my, I was in the midst of my workout and I found myself just ready to quit early, ready to throw in the towel. And I just find that, I've said this before, what you've done the day before, if you had a kick-ass day the day before, it's a lot easier for you to kick ass the next day. And if you had a, you know, a bad day before, say you fell off the wagon or whatever, it's a lot easier to fall off the wagon or continue to stay off the wagon the next day, right? So the, the very fact that, you know, I didn't end my day with yoga, I didn't feel, you know, refreshed and everything. I had junk food in the middle of the night, I was tired. My body, all my body wants to do today, honestly, is eat more junk food. I want to go to bed and I didn't want to work out and I'm just saying you have to be able to recognize that in yourself you know some people again a lot of you guys are writing to me now and how did you how do you get and stay so motivated do you think I'm motivated right now I am pissed off I'm acknowledging that I'm pissed off I'm gonna change my state but I am pissed off and if I want to I could give into what my brain is, is channeling my, me to do. My brain is telling me to take the easy way out. My brain is saying, you know, you had some last night, just go and have something today. Enjoy yourself, on flows on the way, you know, do this. It's that devil inside of you who's going, you know, screw it, you need a break, Kelly. You've been working all day. You know, one day of eating bad or having some pizza here or, or you, know, giving it, you know, giving it easy to yourself is not gonna destroy everything you've had, okay? That's what you have to understand is gonna happen. When you have those off days, when you go on vacation and you don't do anything, it's very easy to keep that going when you come back. And that's how, if you don't recognize it and you give into it, then it can be, you know, a month later and all of a sudden you put on those pair of pants and you're like, how do I have Dunlop's disease? How do I have muffin top? I don't understand this. Oh, yeah, I went from working, you know, 14, day, 14 times a week to uh, seven times a week or to four times a week. And then I started eating more and I thought, oh yeah, I've been going to Dunkin' Donuts a lot more and I've been adding more coffee. All that kind of stuff adds up, okay? Further, <laughs> that's what happens when your coffee cup is big and you have a baseball hat on. Here's the other thing. And this is probably one of the hardest things to do. So don't think it comes easy for me to be happy and motivated and to move on and let go. But it's a choice, okay? I just told you I'm down. I'm gonna have to ask him why he said I prefer to wait until Saturday. Um, I'm gonna have to write back to him. Anyway, um, what was I making? A point. So when I got upset this morning, with the situation, um, and believe me, if you knew the details, you would understand that I have every reason to be very, very upset. And if I wanted to, I have every reason, factually speaking, to be very either vindictive or small or immature um, or, or whatever. But I'm not going to as much as my human being self wants to. But my tendency is, and this has happened when I was going through my divorce or when I got into a relationship right after my divorce and it, it didn't go well. You can choose to back up whatever um, 
situation you want to see in your life. <sighs> Sorry. If this, let me give you let me use the breakup thing for an example. So it, when you have broken up with somebody, you might you might decide, oh my god, you know this always happens to me. Um, and if I wanted to prove that and, and convince myself that I'm unworthy or unlovable or you know every single person's going to be a lying, cheating, betraying asshole, I could. And then I could become a negative person because of that. Or I could say, okay, those are isolated incidents <laughs> and it's that bad person inside of me that wants me to start doubting myself and wants me to start giving into negative attitudes and I'm not going to do that. Same thing with the job, with um, people. People are going to let you down. The more that you can learn that people, whether it's in your professional life, in your personal life, in your family, are always going to disappoint you. And you cannot affect that. The more that you can accept that and recognize that when you know, shit happens, then you go, wait a second, okay, as angry as I might be about this, as much as the, the facts are on my side or the truth is on my side and that person is wrong, it doesn't matter. I can sit here and argue and prove whatever I want. It's not gonna change the outcome. And although that's not an easy pill to take, it sometimes helps me, it has certainly helped me more, more recently, it helps me get past things faster. Because once I check myself and go, you know what? You can sit here by yourself and listen to depressing music, you know, if you're talking about a relationship, or you can just sit here and get angry and get pissed off and say, well, if I wanted to, I could do this, or I could say this, or I could, you know, expose this, or do this, or get back at that person this way. Is that really going to change the situation? Is it going to make you feel better? Because you know what? If you're really a person of any level of integrity, revenge or being immature back or stooping to someone's level will never really, it's never going to give you satisfaction. It might give you temporary satisfaction, um, kind of like, huh, take that, but it's not going to give you long lasting satisfaction. You're going to feel bad about yourself because you're stooping to someone's level. So the more that you can look and go, I'm not going to be, I can't change the outcome. So sitting and obsessing and analyzing why it happened or why does this always happen to me or I don't understand, you know, if it's not the first time it's happened to you. What? You're not going to get anywhere doing that. So do you want to, you have 24 hours in a day. Maybe you're lucky if eight of them are spent sleeping. You, you can't spend that much time. Time analyzing stuff that's said and done is a waste of time. Do you know how much time I wasted after my divorce sitting alone wondering, you know, what did I, what did I miss? Did I, what could I see? Who, who cares? It's done. It's, it's like that ship has sailed. You could sit and wonder why it's moving so fast or you can kind of turn around and find another ship. That's all there is to it. And I just made that metaphor up while I'm talking to you. It is not human nature to do this. It is not my nature to do this. It is my nature to look for, when I get down, all of the other negative things that can support my theory and to wallow. Why do I want to do that? I have no idea. It's just human nature. I'm willing to be easy enough on myself and go, you know what? You're pissed off. You're upset. You're let down. You're disappointed. You're betrayed. Whatever those emotions are, but then you have to check yourself and go, I am not going to be as low as that person. I'm not going to let that person or that incident, or that betrayal, or that business deal that went sour, I am not going to let that stop me. You know, you can do one of two things. You can either let something that's bad that's happened to you push you down further, or you can bounce up and go higher. And, and what I choose to do is go higher, and it's not easy. It is not easy. What I'm choosing to do today is shoot this vlog, so hopefully I can maybe encourage one person out there in the universe. Um, I'm going to kick ass at my job today. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to say, you know what, maybe it would just be helpful for my body to have a damn massage tonight instead of waiting until Saturday, um, especially because I have to go to Vegas next week. But um, kind of, it's just a better way to get over things. And this is all part of a lot of the changes that I've made. Is, is whether it's this or whether it's your eating habits or your workout habits, you have to be able to catch yourself and go, wait, what am I doing? Why, I told you guys this when I lived at my last place, I started catching myself when I would get angry and I would want to eat 
and I would find myself when I would get pissed off or upset at somebody, I would immediately say, screw it, I'm gonna go get some Oreos. And as much as I still don't really maybe understand why I did it, I, re I'm, I was willing to see, okay, this is a bad habit that I do every time and it's stupid and I don't wanna do something stupid so I'm not gonna do it anymore. And then it just became easier and easy for me that every time that happened, I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I am wanting to just eat for absolutely no reason other than the fact I'm pissed off. You know what I'm gonna do is, you know, this is just an example. I'm at 20 minutes, I gotta stop. Um, I, I, I chose to make this a long vlog. Yesterday, I was working on that project all day and um, I really wanted to get my yoga in and I wanted to stop, do my yoga and I really wanted to run is what I wanted to do. But I knew that if I went and I went for my run, I would end up, so much was on my mind and I would go too long and whatever. And I remember I said to myself, you are not allowed to run, you are not allowed to have your workout until you finish this. And I had this moment of awareness going, oh my God, now the working out is my treat. It's not the eating, it's the, hey, you don't get to go for a run unless you finish your job today. Isn't that funny? So all that said, life happens, you're gonna be in a bad mood. But at the end of the day, the only person that can change your mood is you. And that might sound like a whole bunch of hoo-ha, but if I'm sitting here to you and saying I'm in a bad mood, that's because I choose to be in a bad mood. That's because I am choosing to let the stuff that has happened roll over me, and that's my choice. And I won't let it be my choice. That's all there is to it.